bipolar disorder, probably more common than you think. It affects approximately 2.3 million Americans. Now this causes shifts in a person's mood, energy, activity levels, and concentration. And these shifts can make it very difficult to carry out day-to-day -day tasks. Yeah, and our health reporter, Haley Hernandez, joining us now to explain how stem cells may actually help. Yeah, so a clinical trial at UT Health is looking at whether stem cell therapy can battle treatment-resistant bipolar disorder. What they hypothesize is this could improve brain connectivity. What they hope to find is a cure. People with bipolar can find it difficult to carry out day-to-day -day tasks. Dr. Jair Suarez says many patients find medication and lifestyle can help them lead normal functioning lives. But some don't. You know, for folks who don't respond to commonly available treatments, you know, there is a need to develop uh, better ways to treat them. For the people with treatment resistant bipolar who can't find relief, Dr. Suarez believes it's worth experimenting with stem cells to see about improving connectivity in the brain and... They do release systemic factors that seem to lessen inflammation, you know, in the entire body, but in this case affecting the brain. And uh, so, so we believe they release important, important factors that will just keep the brain neurons healthier uh, less in some level of neuroinflammation, you know, inflammation in the brain that a major mental illness like bipolar disorder seems to have over time, appears to have over time. Uh, so, so we believe that that's how they, they could help, but this is a proof of concept study, so we don't really know if, if it will do what we are proposing. The best case scenario, the brain gets repaired and it lessens the symptoms. Worst case scenario, it doesn't do anything. Exactly. He says they're looking to find if those stem cells can make the brain tissue healthier. Right now, it might be a total shot in the dark. But what if they hit the bullseye? The treatments we have now, they, they are good at controlling the symptoms, but we don't have anything that will cure the, the disease. Now, when talking about stem cells, I always have to give the warning that the FDA does not advise getting stem cells in just any place using any stem cells. In some cases, people have claimed that they've experienced further harm by doing that. This UT Health trial is FDA approved. So half of the patients are going to get a placebo, half of them are going to get the stem cells, and UT Health says that it is safe. Hey, take that shot in the dark, right? Oh, that's pretty incredible. cool, right? Mm -hmm. It we'll could it. end up with some treatment, a cure possibly. Interesting how they're using stem cells for mental health illnesses oh. now instead of just, you know, my Physical knee hurts, body, right. my back hurts. Right. Yeah. It's incredible. All right, Haley, thank you.